What is up, YouTube? Mr. Lama SC here, and today we are going to be doing a quick little guide for you on runeward bases and shopping them and all of that. If you're looking for a spirit or insight runeward base, um, I have a whole video on that, and that is, uh, I'll put that in the description, but basically, normal cows is going to be your best place to find that. Um, but if you're looking for more details, go and watch that video. That'll be very helpful. But I kind of want to talk about some of the easier bases that you can get and how we're going to get them and how we're going to search for them and all of this stuff, right? Because a lot of you are wondering, you're saying, Mr. Lama, Mr. Lama, I don't know where to find a leaf base. I've been looking for a, a three open socket shield for my Ancient's Pledge for so long. And some of these are very easy. And so this is going to be something that we really want to uh, dive into and show you a little bit. So let me go ahead and make a game here. This is going to be a little teaching moment for you. Now, the first thing that you should note is that until you really get to the high end rune words, the bases are pretty irrelevant. Um, by this, I mean if you are looking for uh, a lore helm or a stealth armor or an ancient's pledge or any of any of these rune words that are going to be nice and simple. Put it in a large shield, put it in a regular cap, put it in a skull cap, put it in that sort of stuff. We don't really care. It's not until you get to like Enigma, Fortitude, all of these like high end rune words that you're really going to want to focus more on finding like a high defense armor, finding an Archon Plate, a Dusk Shroud, you know, these kind of like elite better armors. So if you're not using a rune above like Mal, <laughs> Don't worry too much about the base itself. Just find something that's got the sockets and things. The exception is if you're looking for like a weapon and that weapon needs to have like IAS frames or something for you, um, whatever not. But let's go ahead and talk. So the first thing, I'm looking for a uh, two open socket helmet, right? The easiest place you're gonna find this is just Charcy. You go to armor and you just search right here. If it doesn't have it, you go here, you leave town, you come back to town, and this will refresh all of the vendors. So you can go back over here, and boom, there's a two open socket helmet. Perfect, I have this, I can put Nadir in this, I can put Lore in this, I can put two Rao runes, two tier runes, whatever it is, right? You can make a rune word, you can just use it for the sockets, but this is normal act one and two um, that you can find this, and this is normal act one. Uh, so I guess I can talk overarching the whole picture. The only vendors that will sell you rune word bases are in normal act one and two. Okay. Any vendor beyond from that with like a tiny time in act three when you're a certain level, but I don't even want to dive into that. The main rule is only act one and two will sell you normal white or gray socketed armors and weapons and all of that. Once you get beyond that, Hell, Nightmare, those late vendors in normal, they're all going to sell you magic items. So we can go over here and we can take a look, right? I'll go and talk to uh, Larzik. Afternoon. And you can see this is magic, 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 right? Everything is going to be magic. You are not going to be able to find anything in here that is white or gray. So you're never going to shop. Okay, those are, right? Somebody will be like, the arrows are llama. Um, you're never going to be able to shop an item that is going to be a rune word base. You might find a two open socket crown here, but it's going to be mechanics. It will be magic, and you will not be able to put a rune word in it, okay? It, it has to be this gray color to be able to be a rune word. So that is the first really good thing to note right there is only act one and two can you shop these now what other things can you shop you can get armors up to two open sockets so if you want a three open socket armor or helmet i mean sorry helmets up to two open sockets if you want a three open socket helmet you have to go find that or get a base that you larzik later that can get three open sockets okay that's the first thing um, if you're looking for an armor you can get an armor base up to three open sockets you can find this at Charcy, or a little bit easier, you can go find this at Farah right here. So she will sell, there you go, a three open socket, 
to open socket, right? So I could use this, I could grab this ring mail, and I could make something like an early treachery for myself. I could make um, a lion heart. I could make, uh, I mean, a peace rune word, right? Any of those rune words that are going to be, like I said, an Umrun and below, a duress I could put in here. Anything Umrun and below, Maurun and below, you can go ahead and put that into this and it's going to be fine. If you're using Ist runes, Vex runes, those, those sorts of things, I would start saving that stuff for better armors. Otherwise, we just don't really care. It's very easy to come over here and shop. Like I say, you can also shop the socketed these and you can shop shields here as well and this is actually the best place to get a three open socket shield if you're looking for a four open socket shield you're out of luck you'll have to find a monarch in hell like i said we have that spirit video elsewhere but for shields you can get up to three open sockets by just shopping it at act two so the same idea you don't find it you come over here you go to town or go away from town come back shop again vendors reset and you keep doing this till you find a three open socket shield. You can also Larzic quest this shield and it'll get three open sockets. But I would save my quest. It takes a few minutes of going back and forth to get yourself a three open socket shield. So you can also get a two open socket shield if you want a rhyme shield. Um, and you can actually shop that as well from Drognan. So if you want rhyme, I like using Drognan and just using this shield, a bone shield. A little bit better chance to block. Um, otherwise, I would use these shields, the large shield or kite shield, to make my Ancient's Pledge, like you do see right here, right? Ralort Tal, nice and easy. So that is going to be for all of your armor pieces right there. Helmets up to two open sockets, armors up to three open sockets, shields up to three open sockets, all can be shopped in Act 1 and 2 of Normal. Um... If you want to shop wands, you can shop wands right here, and you can shop a two open socket bone wand. You won't get two open sockets on these wands, these U wands, by the way. But if you're looking to make a white rune word, very easy to shop it here. And of course, you can just do the same thing where you leave town, go back, go talk to Drognan again, and you can try and find a wand that has uh, plus three to bone spear or something. But once again, make sure it's the white color and not or socketed and not blue right because if it's blue it's magic you can't make it um so you want to find that and that's a nice easy way to find a wand uh for staves you can find two open socket staves right here you can see there's some so you can grab one of these or you can grab a two open socket staff um over at akara those are both different vendors for it depending what kind of staff you want um, so easy right there and this is for if you're making that leaf staff right for your druid your sorceress your assassin whatever character it is tier ral nice and easy um, so this is going to cover all of your like early bases pretty much um, other weapons you can get flails that are three open sockets at farah so that's going to be the max sockets that you'll get on weapons is three uh, and so you can shop a three open socket flail right here. So you can make a malice if you want. You can get a two open socket flail. You can make a steel. You can make a strength in it. Um, all of those sorts of things. Once again, kind of those cheaper, easier rune words. You can put them in here. If you're looking for the four open socket, you're going to have to go and do the normal cows. Once again, I have a video for that. Uh, but up to three open sockets for these weapons right here. And that's really going to cover all of those like early shoppable bases, right? Beyond that, um, bases that you are going to want, yeah, I guess you can also get uh, sockets right here on um, these, right? So you can get up to three open sockets on a pole arm or a spear. And then you could once again make like a malice in this or something for your mercenary. So moving into kind of the bigger better bases a lot of those are just going to come from killing a large amount of monsters right it doesn't have to be in hell but a lot of times killing stuff in hell is going to be the best spot so let's just make some game and so doing like hell cows is a fantastic place because there's just going to be a lot of bases overall but honestly killing a lot of monsters 
is just going to be good anyways. So you can go around the Black Marsh and kill things, right? And it's just, it's just kill stuff. Just kill as many monsters as you can. You'll drop more items, and you can look for those bases that you can find. Um, good bases to get a lot of those things are going to be, you know, for pole arms, like where you're looking right now, getting like a partisan is really nice because it's got decent damage, it's usable, all of that. Eventually, when you do like hell cows, you can look for stuff like threshers and cryptic axes. So like I have a thresher honor right here. It's not ethereal, but it's decent. I can give it to a mercenary and it'll and he'll be decently strong with that, right? Um, so you can do that sort of stuff to find those bases. I found a dusk shroud out in the cows. Once again, I can socket this. If I max socket it, it'll get four sockets. If I chance it in a cube, maybe it'll get three and I could try and like make an enigma out of it or something, right? Um, if not, you can make like a chain of honor or a fortitude with it if it gets the four open sockets. These are the kind of bases that you'll want for that um, sort of stuff right there. So really, like I say, anything leveling through the game uh, you know, I, I make a stealth in a hard le leather armor. I made a smoke in a leather armor, right? Like, literally, it doesn't matter. Because this character isn't going to have high defense. Defense is not that important of a stat. Don't focus too much on it, on it until the very end game. Um, you really are just looking for a base that you can wear that can get that. So I shopped this to open socket from Charcy and was good to go. Um, and yes... When you are looking for bases and bases only, you want to take off all your magic find gear and just farm with no magic find because then you'll get you'll find bases even more. If you have magic find, you have chances of them rolling obviously magic, rare, unique set, all of that stuff. So with that being said, um, I hope that this is helpful. I, I think that kind of covers a lot of the shoppable runeward bases and just runeward bases in general. Um, I know there's specifics. It's a little bit difficult sometimes. The best thing I can say as well is look down below. I'm going to drop a link for you guys that is going to have all of the information for uh, when an item will get three sockets, four sockets, five sockets, six sockets, all of that stuff, like what the max socket is based on where you find it, what monster drops it. So that can be really useful because it might force you to do some target farming. It's a little bit more advanced, um, but it can be nice because you can sometimes see certain items that are just like, oh, this has a maximum sockets of three open sockets. So it'll never drop four open sockets no matter where I find the base. Thus, this is not the pole arm or whatever it is that I want to use, right? Simple as that. Um, I hope this helps. If you have questions, comments, anything like that, put it down below. Otherwise, peace, YouTube.